Hello everyone, it's me Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. Hope everyone's having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. For me, it's Sunday afternoon, and we are having a beautiful, beautiful day here in North Carolina. The sun is shining bright, and it's very cool, and it just feels wonderful. So, I hope you're all doing well, and I think I might have said that already. But um, anyway, um, I do hope you're doing well and that you're having fun. And I thought that I would spend a few minutes this afternoon uh, working on my Stitch the Seasons. And for me, that's Celebrate Fall. So, um, because we are in fall now, and... For those of you who have um, watched my last video, um, then you will have seen this, and I haven't uh, really worked much on it other than I have stitched all these down. They are now on there, in their permanent place. And before I start doing any stitching, I want to get my um, additional pieces on here, at least on the bottom. Uh, up here in the corner, I know I need to put um, something to do with fall, um, a quote, a poem, something. So that's, I'm leaving this section open right here for that to go. So I need to put something down here and maybe here, something here. So I'm just going to focus down here today, and then I think I'll probably start to do some stitching on here. I know that I want to do some thread, uh, thread painting on at least one of these flowers, uh, depending on how long it takes me. I have three months, so I think I could do maybe all three of them. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, whatever else I put on here is probably not going to be. It's, it'll be embellished, but I won't go to that extent. So I have a little tray here with a few things that I have cut out that I thought I might use. Um, I did decide to use a bird from this fabric that I showed in my haul the other day. And, uh... I think, not. no, I think that's all I took out of there was just the, the little bird. And this is the little bird that I've decided to use. And I'm not sure yet where I'm going to put him, but he's going on here somewhere. So I'm just going to lay him there because I'm going to make a decision before I, before I um, am through today. So now I'm just trying to figure out what can I put down here, what will look good. Um... These are just some of the things that I thought I might use. No. No, I'm not putting anything up there. Um, I might try to wiggle something around in here, perhaps. Not sure yet how that would work. Just going to let it sit there for right now, not committing to anything. This bird, I don't believe I'm going to be using. I think I can lay that back over here in my little tray. Um, I wanted to use a little squirrel, but I've decided that I don't think I will. I was thinking about maybe trying to find a place up here. Maybe that's why I'm not. I'm not going to commit to up here yet because I might just decide to do a branch and, and let the little squirrel sit on it. But for right now, that little fellow's going back in to my container. Um, I have this flower that could come. You know, they make it look so easy to do this, and I have such a hard time with it, trying to figure these things out. It takes me forever, but then I guess that's part of the process is 
trying things out to see what goes and how things look. You just have to keep moving them around and placing them different places till you get it figured out. Move that bird because I know that bird is not going to be a part of this. No, not down that far. Um, hmm. Don't like the way that's coming, coming out. I don't know how I had it before, but I think I have too much up here for that to work. move it up that way I think I I think I know uh, I think I have an idea if I cut the leaves off and I lay this here and then I put this back there did I have that? I had it laying here a minute ago. How did I have it laying? You remember? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I know I had it somewhere in here. Um, move this down here. Hide that branch. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I like that or not. Um, uh, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I was working down here. I get distracted. Let's see what we can do with these. I think that belonged on there. I think I cut it off. Looks like right where I cut. Maybe I should have left that. Doesn't look too bad that way. Um, what do you guys think? Ladies, gents, girls, whatever. Mm, I kind of like that. See what else? Oh, I have this. I don't know that that's going to go anywhere. I think I needed to cut, finish cutting it out. Um, let's see. If I put this here, kind of let it slide down this way. And I put this right there. I think I like that. I think. Do I? Do I want to move it around a little? Try. I think I just had it this way a second ago. Hmm. I'm still working on this. I'm still trying to figure out how I like it. Pretty much decided it's going to be these two. Somehow. Decisions, decisions. Let's see. I think I liked it better this way. I can just figure it out again how I had it. Was this underneath there? 
like that. I cannot remember. No, because that hides. Maybe I don't even need that leaf on there. Maybe I need to take that leaf off. Because it's hid. Yeah, I'm going to snip it off. Hope I don't decide that I, whoops, wanted it after I get rid of it. Or maybe I'll tuck it in somewhere else. I'll leave it there for right now. Put this back here where it was. Now, how'd I have it? Now I forgot this way, like that. Was it that way? No, it was this way. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, I could forget my head if I didn't have it attached. People take pictures so they can remember how they have things. Well, I would need to take a picture every second that I'm, because I'm always changing something, and I can't ever remember. Maybe I could put that leaf there. Hmm, no. I need a leaf in there, because that stem is just, it's just coming out to nowhere. Let's see. If I mess up my... Thing, then I'll have to go back and find the other another one that looks just like this because I know I want this in here but I don't want it crowding each, I don't want it to crowd out each piece I want it to go together nicely you know what I mean um, Can't get my angle right. Why is that? Does that need to come up further? And then this. Come in here and the leaf that I just <laughs> cut off, I needed to be in here. <laughs> like. Now that's still. What looks wrong? Something looks wrong. Can you guys tell me what looks wrong? That was upside down for one thing. Ah. I think that's it. This was upside down. Yep, cut it off and shouldn't have. Alright, just let me do this. I'll piece it back together. Just a little bit more work, but that's okay. That's what slow stitching's all about. Sitting and stitching. So, it just goes right. I think it goes right there. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe I'll angle it just a little bit more. Hmm. Still something's just not quite right. Maybe it needs to be like this. Cover up that other leaf. Maybe. Let's see. I'll pull that up. And I'll pull this down. And then I'll move this up to there. That's it. That's it. But now I think I need to trim this a little bit more. Get rid of some more of that white. Doesn't all need to be in there. And uh, we'll get to the finish line, hopefully, in a little bit. So.
I might have too many projects going. Not sure. They're kind of running together for me, so I got to get uh, I got to get some things done. So I have dedicated this afternoon to working on some things. And So I think this is going to be good now to go in here. What do you think? How's that look? Is that good? I think that's going to be good enough. So let me get some pins and pin this into position. As Corinne says, we're all taking up Corinne's words because we're all watching her just about every day. <laughs> Okay, and then I need to get this piece down. It's getting caught on my mat. That's a big long pin there. Okay, and I just need a little tiny one. Let me see if I can find one of my little bitty ones. I'm going to put this little bitty one here to take care of this leaf. There we go. Now, what do we think about the bird? Oh yeah, I still think I want my bird to be right in here. I just, I just like my little bird right there, so I think that's where this little fellow's got to be. I'm going to, I think I'll let him sit here behind the flower. That means I have to, do I have to stitch him down first? Maybe. See, where do I want, do I want that flower in front of him? I think I do. I think I do want the flower in front of my bird. My bird is sort of this little fella's just kind of hiding back here in the back. Yeah, I like him there. I think that's a good spot for him. Um, now I have this little, little morsel <laughs> that I'm going to put somewhere. Let's see. Where could it go? I could let it come like right there. Yeah, well, I don't know. I kind of like it sitting right there. What do you think? I think so. Or do I want to move this stuff and maybe put it right up in here like this? Um, no, I think I like it right here. Kind of, uh, there's a space there that needs something. So I think I'm going to go with that. Um, I, when I lean back, I know the sun hits you. I've got my window open, and I don't have my light on because it's so nice and sunny outside until I just didn't think I needed it on, and I don't think I do. I hope I look back at this video and don't think, oh, I should have had my light on. But anyway, there. I think that's going to be pretty good. Now, what do I want to do? I need to think about my, my stem. Let me clean this little bit of stuff off right here. Um, 
get the sleeves pulled up. They keep falling down. And I have to try to remember to pull them up because I always get stuff on them. Now, I think I need to put this down before I put my bird down. So I want to um, couch this down for some texture. I'm not sure what kind of wool this is. I just know it's wool. And if I put this here, and then I put my bird, maybe my bird needs to go. I don't know, this has to go down first before my bird. I know this is the bird I'm using. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm thinking that this might need to be couched down. Hmm. Should I have done that? Or should I come up, and couch, and then take this back down? I think that might be the better way to go. Do I have a big enough uh, needle that I can do that? Oh, that one's not going to work. That's too small. Um, let me see. This one, maybe? Threading needles is not my thing. <laughs> if I try and time thread trying to thread a needle. Um, I got a needle threader around here somewhere. What did I do with it? Hmm. Of course I can't find it. Here it is. It's hiding under my mat. Let's see if I can do it with this. Maybe this uh, needle's not big enough. They make all this stuff look so easy. <laughs> and for me, it's so hard. Mm, I can't even, can't even find the hole. Come on. Don't be that way. Oh, maybe I need to open it up a little. It's kind of small. Oh, there we go. I squished it closed. <laughs> Is it in there? Nope. Hang on, everybody. I'm going to get it. There we go. <laughs> well, that didn't work. It's broke. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm pitiful. You know that? <laughs> that was a broken one. Let me get another one. I think I got some right up here somewhere. Because um, I'm not going to get it threaded with that one. Yep, here we go. Oh, this is a long, this one's long. It's open too. <laughs> we'll be in business if I can get it threaded. Now you ladies know why I don't sew online. I mean on my videos. I don't stitch on videos because <laughs> this is why. <laughs> it's too difficult for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I don't want to waste my yarn because I only have little <laughs> Anyway, I'm being silly. Okay, let me get rid of that piece. I won't throw it away because I might need it. Um, let's see, how do I do this? I go up through here. And try to pull it through. And it won't go. Because my needle's there. Thought my needle wasn't enough, wasn't big enough, but I got it. Um, and now, let's see, what do I do? Need to do next? 
put it back down through here. I don't even want to try. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Pull. Come on. There we go. All right. Now I'm just going to let that hang back there for now. Oh, that was a job. Okay, let's see. Let me make this loose because I don't want it to be too tight and pull my fabric. Mess that up. So, all right, now I need, what am I going to stitch it with? Um, I've got this, but I don't know. Should I come down some so you can watch all the mistakes? <laughs> Or watch me fumble around just a little bit better than you can see me <laughs> now. <laughs> um, can you see? There we go. Now I'm trying to decide, do I want to use... Yeah, I think I'll use that darker one. Um, let, me get a, let me get a piece of this. Okay, and let me see if I can, if I can thread a needle. We know how that, how that works. <laughs> Not too good. I think maybe this one might work pretty good. Just my needle threader. No use in wasting time. I don't know why I have such a hard time. I, I can't thread them with a needle threader. Can't thread them without needle threader. I don't know. Now you know why I do not sew online. Because <laughs> it's just it's embarrassing, really, <laughs> to try to do this when I'm no good at it. I need lots of time. That's why I just do it at night when I'm I'm watching TV because it can't work very well. Let me see, where do I want to do this? How do I want to do it? I think I'll... Needle's a little bit um, dull, I think. Probably need to get me an, another one. Or maybe it's not the needles dull. It's just that the, for one thing, the fabric's thick. And for another thing, the eye of the needle's just hard to pull through. So has anybody been watching anything good on television? Um, here lately, I've kind of been into watching Cold Case. Um, comes on Max. And it's, it used to, I don't know when, I don't know how long ago that these movies were made. It was a television series and it was about, I don't know how many seasons there were, but I'm on four. And I used to watch it once in a while and I really loved it. Um, it's where they, this group of homicide detectives, they solve cold case file, uh, they, cold cases. And, um, I've really been enjoying watching that. And then what I watch that's current right now, the only thing I've really watching is Big Brother. I love to watch Big Brother. I've been watching it for all the years it's been on. <laughs> uh, Twenty something years, I think. I just Enjoy watching them lie and scheme and 
and uh, stab each other in the back. It's a brutal game they got playing there. Anyway, I find it very interesting, very fun to watch. All right, I've got that branch down. I hope I was in frame. I forgot to look. So, let's see. There's a knot. No, I didn't put one, did I? Mm -mm. Okay, I got to knot this off. I'm going to do that. I think I'll do it with my... After I get done with this, I'll, I'll do it. Let me get this. Then I'll go back down there and secure that end. So, anyway, I saw on uh, the news the other day. I don't remember what news it was. I don't know if it was my local news. I think it was my local news. Uh, they were talking about how the best television series of the century have been rated. And the number one, which I was surprised, I've seen it, it's very good, uh, Mad Men came out as the number one show for the last hundred years. If you haven't watched it, it is a great series to watch. Um, I watched it a long time ago. Um, probably, well, at least probably seven, eight years ago. Um, I didn't watch it when it, if, I don't know if it was on television. I think it was a series, but I didn't watch it back when it was first um, aired. I didn't see it until later. My my daughter-in-law, actually, I was over at their house one day. We were visiting us before we moved up here. We were still living in South Carolina. And um, I was looking for something to watch. And my daughter-in-law said, well, watch Mad Men. I think you'll like it. And I thought, eh, I don't know. Doesn't sound very good. Um, but she was right. I started watching it at their house before we went back home to South Carolina. And, boy, I couldn't wait to get home and turn it on and watch it. I think then it was on, I think I watched it on Prime. It was on Prime Video. Um, but, so anyway, if you haven't watched Mad Men, it is definitely worth watching. It's good. And I must not be the only one that thinks so since it was uh, voted the best series in a hundred years. Uh, there was a few other ones on there, but it was nothing that I have watched, I don't think. So you'd have to go and Google the best to find out where the other things lie. I don't know. Um, Anyway, Mad Men was so good, and I put that away, and I'm not done with it. Where is it? I took it out of the needle. Oh, my goodness, why did I do that? Because I was talking, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Now i got to see if I can put it back in. And um, anyway, that's enough about movies. Um Except, in my opinion, I think there was there was two things left out of that that should have been in there, I think. And that was Downton Abbey and The Walking Dead. Oh, The Walking Dead. So good. I didn't think I'd like that. When I first started watching it, I thought, who wants to watch this? All these zombies and stuff. But actually, the storyline is great, has a great storyline about the characters and stuff. So that made it good. And also Fear the Walking Dead, because that was a spinoff. So some of the characters in The Walking Dead ended up 
going into Fear the Walking Dead. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> and of course, who can forget about Yellowstone? Oh gosh, Yellowstone. Rip and Beth, they made that show, I think. Okay, let's see if I can get this to pull through one more time. I'm getting hot now. All this work <laughs> is making me hot. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't watched Yellowstone, that's another one to give a, to give a uh, to give a chance. It's worth a it's worth a an episode or two to see if you're going to like it. I was hooked on the, after the first one, so. Um, anyway. I don't think there's going to, there's. I guess it's going to start again because there's another half of this season. But after that, I don't think it's going to be on anymore because Kevin Costner didn't want to be in it anymore. He wanted to do something else, I heard, or I read, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be the end of, um, it's going to be the end for Yellowstone, but there's going to be a spinoff, I think. I think they said that there was going to be a spinoff and um, Matthew McConaughey is going to join the cast, which, <sighs> I'm an old lady, but I sure do like to look at him. <laughs> to me, he is like when he was when he first started acting. I don't know how long that's been, but I remember thinking the first time I saw him, ah, oh, he's a young Paul Newman for you older ladies who remember Paul Newman. Mm. Those eyes of his were so gorgeous. So, it'd be okay with me if Matthew McConaughey was on there. I like him. He's going to somehow take um, Kevin Costner's place, I guess, in some way. I don't know exactly how, but um, that's what I heard. So, I just hope they don't do away with Rip and Beth, because I think they make the show, the two of them. Without them, I don't think the show would go far. So. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of that. I don't need it anymore. And just, oh, you haven't been seeing anything I've been doing. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Mr. Albert. Is that his name? Albert? An old Beatles song. Mm -hmm. See the end of my... There. Okay. Let me move up. You can see. Um... Where am I going? I'm supposed to be going the opposite direction, so let me just go down here and put this in, and then I'll get get myself straight on the way I'm supposed to be going. It's under there. Ah, oh, my needle. Okay. Um, I don't want that to be too tight. So anyway, as I was saying before. Um, Yellowstone, yeah. Another good show. Um, that's all I got. That's all I know about that. So, um, what else could we talk about? Can I tell you? Oh, I can tell you about my little granddaughter's dream the other night. 
Um, my, my son was telling me that she had a dream, and she said it was a bad dream, a um, scary dream. She was gone a couple weeks ago. She was out for um, fall break, and it was 1st of September. No, the end of September. It's just been a week before last, I guess. I kind of lose track of time. Um, I don't keep up with it very well. Anyway, um, my son said that she came downstairs the other morning. She's four. No, she's five. Um, and she said she had a, a bad dream. And he asked her about what. And she said that she was at the beach. And she lost her bunnies. Well, her bunnies go everywhere she does. She's got two little little bunnies. And they're like security for her. They go everywhere she goes. And so they were um, at the beach with her. And she lost them. So, um, and she told her daddy they were out on the beach. She was looking for her bunnies, and a tartal wave was coming. <laughs> so, I thought that was cute. A tartal wave. Make sure that's not coming through. Um, sometimes she can say the cutest things. Mm. To me, that was cute anyway. I laughed. thought it was funny. She's, uh... She's quite a, quite a little character, that girl is. She doesn't like to play with dolls. It's just uh, mostly dogs. Little stuffed dogs is what she likes. And she loves her dogs. So... I bought her a doll for Christmas a few years ago. Just doesn't, just doesn't play with it. Doesn't care anything about dolls. Her babies are dogs, and they're not not cats. Used to be, but now she doesn't says she doesn't care for cats. She just likes her dogs. So, so that's uh, that's what she plays with. Her dogs. All right, now if I put this here, it's going to be a little bit bumpy, but that's okay. I still, I could put a, I could put a, a little branch right here, but I don't think I want to use that same. I think I'll use this. I need something a little smaller for this to couch this on. So I think this would be good. This is, um, this is wool. It's by Anchor. I got it at the thrift store. Um, anyway, I think I'll couch this down right here. Or maybe I'll just, yeah, I'll couch it. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here, and that will have these done. Where's my threader? And, uh, And then I don't know how long I've been on here. It'll probably be long enough. Um, if anybody knows of a good needle threader, I would sure love to know what it is. I've tried this kind. I've tried the, the metal ones. And I don't know. I just don't seem to have much luck with them. They don't work very well for me. I think I'm going to tie a knot this time. There we go. And then this will come here and down there. So, but yeah, anyway, we were talking about my granddaughter. Yeah, she goes to year round school, so she's got the this these past uh 
well, she's got one week left. She goes so many months, and then she gets three weeks off, which I think is kind of good when they do it that way. So. She's not out long enough to forget what she's learned, but she gets a good enough break. She's ready to go back. She's ready to go back now. She misses her friends. I'm awkward with my sewing. <laughs> I'm surprised I ever get anything done. Some ladies, they just zip right right through their, their stuff. It just takes them just a minute. For me, it takes a long time. And since I don't edit my videos because I don't know how, I don't even know how to string them together. That's why I can't pause and then come back later. So anyway, it doesn't work out real well for me to try to show you what I'm doing that and the fact that I can't seem to keep myself in frame either so I forget I'm sorry please forgive me I can do better at some things than others. This is just not, to me, trying to do this is awkward. But I've just about got it done. we go. Now, tie this down. Just going to fold that over and put a stitch in there to Keep that from coming out. And that's done. Okay. So what did I get done? Not too much. Well, yes, I did. I won't, I won't give myself some credit. I got my, whoops. Got that stitched down. Now my little my little bird is going to go. I was gonna put him down here, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. I need to I need to do one little thing and I'm just gonna do it with this. I'm not gonna need to couch it because it's not enough to worry about, I don't think. Is that a knot? Yep. I'm going to do this little branch right here, and I'm just, I think I'm just going to take this right up here and pull it through. There we go. And then I'm just going to take it back down, and I'm not need to, I don't need to put, I don't need to couch it because it's too, it's just one stitch, so doesn't need couching. But I think it needs to be. I think it needs to be there. I don't want to. Make, I want to make sure it's not too tight. I might do this one too. Yeah, I think I will do that one. And and then that will be done. Now I could. I've scooted on over, but I want to try to do it with this thread that's already in this needle because I don't want to have to un unthread it. So I'm going to do right there and hope I can. 
I hope this needle is not too long to do that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure this one will even show, but I'll be I'll like it better knowing that I did it. So Yep, I had enough. Of course, for me, one thing leads to another. So now, now I don't think I need to do that one because I think that's where my bird's sitting. If not, then I'll have to come back and do it. Oh, see if I can split this thread and just tie that off. I think I can. There we go. Okay. Now, I got all my couching done. Even though it takes me forever, I get there in the end. Now my little birdie is going to be sitting right here and that leaf is going to come out right on top of his foot just like that well yeah is that what I said I think it was so I better get a pen in him I don't know do you like him there or up here. Maybe that's better up there. Maybe that is a better a better spot. You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna um, pin them down and then I'll decide. And that you'll see next time because I have my bird and these things to put down and then figure out what else I'm going to do down here on the bottom. And then I'll move up there. So I'll be back with a an update on how things are progressing probably next week. So thank you so much for stopping by and, and uh, watching me have a little play with my Celebrate the Fall. Um, hashtag stitch stitch the season so if you're interested in participating there's plenty of time because in just about an hour and a half you could be caught up with me because <laughs> I've worked on this three times and this is as far as I've gotten because I'm so slow but I do enjoy it I love it I love it it's just that and that's why it's called slow stitching, because you don't need to be in a hurry, and there's three whole months to do this piece. So, I will say goodbye for now, and I'll leave um, Corinne's link down below in case you want to go over and get some details on, on the uh, Stitch the Season project. And um, I'll leave you now with uh, just a big thank you for stopping by and please take care of yourselves be safe be well be happy and i'll talk to you later bye for now